Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about neuropsychology and why I decided to study this specific career. So if you want to know what I have to say, just keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to give you a definition of what is neuropsychology and what is the role of a neuropsychologist. So I found a few definitions online so I don't ramble around this whole topic because we could be here for ages. So let me read it out loud for you. I have it here on my phone. Um, so I, it says here that neuropsychology is a branch of psychology that is concerned with how the brain and the rest of the nervous system influence a person's cognition and behaviors. I don't know if you're familiar with the term cognition but let's say that it's basically memory and attention there's more to it but I just like leave it there so it's more simplified now what is the role of a neuropsychologist you may be wondering so I have here that neuropsychologists evaluate and treat people with various types of nervous system disorders they work closely with doctors um, they also are related with illnesses injuries and diseases of the brain and nervous system as they can affect the way a person feels, thinks and behaves. Okay, so now that we know the definitions of neuropsychology and what is sort of a neuropsychologist, I'm gonna start up a bit with my personal story and why I decided to study neuropsychology. So first of all, here uh, I had to do a state exam to see where I could study in university. And in my case, I didn't have many options to choose from. And I ended up getting in in one that was related with biomedical sciences, but it had a big word of engineering <laughs> before that. And in the end, after trying to push through for many years, I decided that I didn't want to do it anymore, that I loved the part of biomedical sciences, but I did not like at all the part of engineering because it was not something that I was ever thought I would do. And even more funny, when I was applying to different universities, and even studying for this state exam, I was like, I'm never gonna study an engineering because I don't like it and I'm not good at it. But um, life gives you plenty of lessons and I ended up studying that for a few years to the point I was like, okay, this is it, I'm done, I need to start from scratch, this is not what I want. And with this situation, what it comes is like, okay, what I'm gonna be doing now because I have no idea and I have to look for a completely different career from zero. So I was pretty lost and what I decided to do it was basically go and open up to all the options that I had. So basically I was always since high school and like a really small kid studying sciences because I was always super passionate about but I was like okay what if I just really like that but maybe it's a hobby and maybe what I want to do in reality is study something else like business or a different branch that I never explored. So after a lot of time deciding what should I do, should I go back to science or should I change my career, I decided to stick to science. I asked myself what I was always interested in when I was a kid growing up and I, I realized it was, has always been science so what was the whole point of changing to something that I might not even like. So okay, now that I decided, okay I want to study science, cool, but what in science do I want to study? And I, ask myself this question again like why was I always really interested in when I was growing up and it was basically the brain it really intricate me how complicated and interesting it was at the same time so I was like okay now that I had this approach that I want to study something with the brain what can I study and where can I study so what I basically did I was looking up online all the degrees that I could find really with neuroscience because I knew that was a whole topic and that's what I did. I ended up going to a bachelor that was super open. You could study from many different science branches, which is a whole completely different topic. I could also do a video about this, but I'm just gonna stick to that. I study mainly neurosciences combined with medical sciences, basically the human body and its intricacies as well. Um, so after I did this bachelor, I was like, okay, what I'm gonna be doing next? Cause I have no idea. I just did this amazing, but pretty broad, Great, so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next. Uh, so what I did, I also did like a recap. Why did I like the most in my bachelor's? So what I found that I liked the most was neuropsychology, which is basically super intertwined with neuroscience. If you don't know, it's basically 
pretty much the same thing to a point. It's like hard to say what is neuroscience and what is neuropsychology. But um, in the end, I decided, okay, I want to do neuropsychology. I want to be with people in front of me and talk to them and get to know them and be more like face to face and heart to heart in a way. So what I did is basically decided to look for clinical neuropsychology masters and that's what I ended up doing. So that was a whole recap of my life. I hope it was amusing and somehow enlightening if you're interested in this field. Um, if you have any more questions or suggestions for videos in this field, please comment them below. I'll try to answer those questions, maybe in a video, maybe in a comment, I will see. For those that are studying and still really lost to the future, I just hope that you can find your path and your passion. Be patient because things in the end end up working pretty well. I, I'm the person that stress out really easily when I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Like even now that I'm going to have only one more year of masters and I'm like, <laughs> what am I going to be doing next? And like I just freak out because that's how I am. But things will end up clearing its way. But in the end, as cheesy as it is, deep inside you, you know what makes you happy and you know what you're really good at it and what will bring you passion in your future job so just follow your heart and you will make it and succeed so after this super cheesy end i hope you guys enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe it will make me super super happy to have one more member in this community so yeah i'll see you in the next video bye